G'day guys, Lead It Pros here from fstoplounge.com. Today we're going to be talking about Flash. There we go. I had a question from Blair on Facebook. He asked me, Lee, how do you go about not overexposing an image on a film SLR? That's right, he said film SLR. Uh, he shoots a lot of film. Blair's a very talented photographer. I respect him highly. Uh, he's, he is quite young, but he's based in Perth so make sure you check out his work below it's very very good lots of sort of fashion photography I really like it so all you need to do Blair is and other people out there who are having the same problem is you need to use a setting in your camera called flash exposure compensation it's similar to exposure compensation but rather than actually adjusting your exposure in your camera you are simply just brightening or darkening your flash um, by you know adding more power to, or less power so the capacitor knows exactly what output to put at. So the way you access it on a film SLR is you'd have to go into your flash mode, but you need to ensure that you're on program auto because in auto mode, you don't have full control of, over those things. You will notice it will be a little symbol with a lightning bolt and a little plus and minus. Um, that's your flash exposure compensation. And there'll be a wheel or a plus and minus or an up and down button that will adjust it. For a digital SLR um, or a digital camera or a mirrorless camera like this one, all you do is you make sure you're in program auto, pop up your flash, and then you need to just dive into the menu. And normally towards the, the end of the menu, you'll find flash exposure compensation. Just hit your right arrow. And uh, you see here it's got uh, third increments. It goes up by third uh, every time. So you can go right up to plus two, which is two stops of um, power. And then right down the bottom, this is where Blair will want to sort of head, probably between, you know, minus two thirds and minus one and one third for the Australian conditions. That's just going to dial the flash back enough just to provide enough fill light without sort of blowing out the subject. So that's all you do. So Blair, I hope that helps you out, mate. Uh, you know, adjusting your flash exposure conversation is so simple, but there is another thing you can do if you're using an external flash or even you can, when you're using internal flash or a little built in flash, um, you can actually get what they call um, a diffuser like these things. And these will sit over, these ones are for your external flash. Um, these ones will sit over the flash head or the flash unit itself and just diffuse the light. Uh, you can get little mini ones for your built-in one. Um, most camera stores will have them. They're only like 20 bucks, something like that. These ones are a little bit more expensive. And um, you'll find with these Stofan Omnibounce, it's just basically a glorified milk carton. So if you, if you want a cheap alternative, just get a milk carton make sure you wash it out otherwise it'll just reek and then um yeah cut it out into this sort of a shape and then just bend it around the flash tape it on and bob's your uncle i'm sure he is so there you go that's how you do it i'll catch you next time cheers